Wealth Studios, Dave Hughes here, and I am joined now by some some Super Talk people doing good stuff. That's kind of redundant. Those two really go together. Uh, we have with us the General Manager of Super Talk Meridian, Shelly Hotchkiss Whitehead. How you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you, Dave? Doing fantastic. And you've got uh, Monet Cranford with you, an account executive there. Mm-hmm. How are you doing, Monet? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, doing fantastic. Now, you guys are smiling, and you should be, because you're doing something really, really good. Tell us about this. We've been covering and talking about the damage, the destruction, the devastation in western North Carolina ever since Helene went through there and just messed up the world. Uh, and it's one thing to sit and talk about it. You guys uh, decided to do something about it instead, right? Well, we didn't really decide to do anything. Monet's son, Jonathan Cranford, he has a heart the size of Texas, and I guess the heart the size for the South. And so Jonathan is going to be making several trips to uh, North Carolina, and um, and this is from Clark County. So there's also a veterinarian that's going to be going and taking hay bales and just uh, feed. Um, they've got a lot of big animals that need hay, food and so uh ashley bentley and her husband will be going and they're going to take cages and i don't know that they'll bring animals uh like dogs and cats back because they have to have a place to home them but they are going up there and then jonathan and a friend of his curtis lewis is going and they have been working with scott deadweiler his mother lives is it black black mountain black mountain and, one of the mountains yeah <laughs> And they had some damage, but not terrible. So they're working with her church. And he happened to call me um, uh, Sunday and said, and told me, Mom, I've reached out to Brother Terry Ivy, which is our pastor, and talked with him about, you know, coordinating with churches. And so he started working with Scott and coordinating with different churches. And this has gotten really big. So, um, Curtis has a business equipment and he's ordered bulk in like vinegar, bleach and all kinds of stuff. And then there's tons of donations. So Wednesday night we'll be loading them and they're going to make their first trip Thursday morning and they're going to turn around and come back. And then in a couple of weeks, um, Jonathan is going to go back again. He'll see what the need is. And this time he wants to stay and work a little bit. Um, He's got chicken houses, cows, um he's rough at yeah <laughs> and, and a logging crew and but he uh there'll be he'll he'll have a break from the chickens so he is going to work and then um come back and then around christmas we want to do a christmas drive to try and make the children's christmas a little bit better and and bring and then shelly has just been wonderful sending out her wording is great. This is her forte uh, of raising, and she has done this, which has helped. So you tell them what all okay. is going. Well, when Monet came to me Monday morning, she said, well, Jonathan's going to be going to North Carolina. I said, well, what do you need? What do they need? And she said, Shelly, they need everything. You know, I mean, baby supplies, women's supplies, hygiene items, um, not necessarily just food, but blankets, tennis shoes, clothing. I mean, these are people that love, has lo- have lost everything. And so uh, we put together a, a small PSA. We sent it out um, to local businesses and churches. And so we've had quite the response, actually a little bit overwhelming, if that means anything. But, you know, we have, you know, if you want to bring items to Super Talk Meridian, Monet will take them to be transported. Um, you can donate cash if you want. That will help, you know, when Jonathan gets there, he can see. And that's what we're really excited about this is because when Jonathan comes back, he's going to really see what they need. Um, because, you know, right now there's just not a ton of communication. There's not, I mean, we're getting blips and pieces, it seems like, of what's going on. Um, and so when he comes back, we're really going to amp up our, our drive on what is really needed for people on the ground. Um, it's about to get winter there. Um, blankets, socks, uh, bedding, pillows, towels, anything you could possibly need is what they need. And um, and so we're, we have a donation box set up here at the studio, which, you know, we're a small studio here in Meridian, Mississippi. But also uh, Mitchell 
signs here in Meridian is accepting donations. And is it Bethel, Bethlehem? Bethlehem Church in Laurel, um, my daughter's church. She reached out to them and uh, they are a pretty big church. So they are gathering stuff and we'll go there tomorrow night to pick up and take back to Quitman, which is 30 minutes away back where I live and load up a truck and then Quitman and then has um, equipment's just all hands on deck. Right. And then there's um, a person that we work with here at Super Talk, uh, Joey Chancellor. He's donated an 18 wheeler, one of his, he has a, a trucking company. Yeah. And so, I mean, we really don't know where this is going to go, but I do know Citizens National Bank has said, you know, they're willing to participate. Um, as you know, they have several branches across the state. So we literally sent this press release out yesterday. So we're just very, very excited about the possible impact that this could make on, you know, our fellow Southerners in, in North Carolina, as we've all been affected here in the South by hurricanes. And um, I'm from Florida, so I've been through several, oh, yeah. several hurricanes. So, um, well, and, you I, know, I, I hate to. I hate to say it, but uh, we may have to do this again for the Tampa area uh, in the next week or two because uh, they've, they've got something really rough headed their way. Yes. Right. And I actually have family that lives in Central Florida, so I'm like scared to death for them. So uh, just and I, I went to University of Florida in Gatesville. So, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, you hate to see, you know, your home state being affected so much by hurricanes. Um, but, you know. Over the last couple of years, we haven't had as many large hurricanes. It's been smaller hurricanes. Uh, and really the largest one since I can remember, well, possibly Hurricane Michael that affected Panama City um, maybe about five years ago, um, but Katrina. And we saw the devastation of what happened there. And, and I would say, in my opinion, that Asheville is, is damaged equally. And um, we all know what's going on. So we all have to, you know, give it our best effort and help each other right now in this time of need. Now, monetary well, and, uh, Something you said, yeah, we'll get to that in a second, Monet. Okay. Uh, but one of the things that you said there, uh, I wanted to bring out and make sure that we focus on, there are no bad donations at this point of any kind because they literally need everything. If you're going to the store, if you're able to financially, this would be my suggestion, whatever you're getting for your store run that's non-perishable, get two and put one of them to the side to send to North Carolina because if you need it, they need it. They don't have it. They don't have anything. And of course, the monetary donations will help fill in those gaps. Monet, I'm sorry I broke in on you there, but go yes. ahead with that information. That's fine. But any monetary donation, um, is this not being used for gas or anything? He said, Mom, I'm, I'm taking care of all that. He said, whatever I see the need, because there are people um, at his church that said, an older man said, look, let me just give you money. He said, I, I just can't, you know, go. And Jonathan said, I will put it towards whatever they need. And so that's, it, it will go towards and he'll know more once he's been there and 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 come back. Um, and we plan on doing an interview with him once he gets back to just talk about, you know, talk about, you know, what what are we seeing? What it's like, I mean, how bad is the condition really? Um, you know, just to, you know, interview him and, and get a better idea of how we can help and maximize our efforts. Well, exactly, and how to how to properly focus them. But you have to start somewhere, yeah. and the hardest part sometimes is getting started. And you guys have grabbed this and ran with it, but it sounds like it, it's all down to Jonathan. You guys are just kind of working in the background here. We're, we're just kind of, um, we're the PR crew, I guess you could say. <laughs> and working in radio, that's what we do for a living. We have big mouths, and uh, we definitely, you know, are good at getting the word out and you know, and that's what I love about, you know, Super Talk Nation is the fact that, you know, we have such good hearts and we do so many wonderful things for our state. And, you know, they're willing to, you know, help local nonprofits or, you know, publicize their events. And, you know, we try to help where we can. And that's one thing that, you know, we always try to do. Monet, I'd just like to point out, she just said you have a big mouth. How do uh, people get a hold of you guys? I'm, I'm just pointing out the obvious here. Um, yeah, how does. do they she get a hold a of you mouth. guys if they would like to help with this effort and with this trip to North Carolina? Uh, how can they get a hold of you guys? 
Uh, call us here at the studio at 601-693-1103. Again, look us up on Google, Super Talk Meridian 103.3 FM. You can also email Monet or myself. It's Monet at supertalk.fm or Shelly at supertalk.fm. Um, just reach out to us. We're more than happy to come and pick up items if needed and get them to Jonathan and his crew. Um, if you're wanting to become a part of the crew, I mean, the more the merrier. Um, we're you know, if you we're up against go, the break. I'll, we're up against the break. So.